Well, happy Tuesday, East Texas. Outside, we are dealing with plenty of cloud cover across the region, even some scattered showers beneath those clouds. Now, over the past couple of hours, we've seen that kind of dwindling in coverage a little bit, but still a couple of sprinkles from Palestine over towards Alto, up towards Mount Enterprise, a few heavier downpours. So just be aware you're going to see some uh, wet windshields, also some wet pavement as you head out on your morning commute. But overall, not too bad out there. Cold front continues to work its way towards the south, warm and moist air riding up ahead of the front behind it, we have a northeasterly flow that's ushering in cooler and drier air. Also notice the high clouds building over Mexico. Those clouds will play a part in our forecast coming up as a warm front lifts to the north. Now, we are tracking our next cold front. It will arrive in East Texas on Wednesday night. Right now, just entering into the Pacific Northwest, but it'll make some quick headway heading towards East Texas. So, today, cold front giving us a few scattered showers, mainly across the south this morning. High pressure builds in. We'll see the rain chances come to an end by the afternoon hours. So, even a couple of breaks of uh, sunshine possible in spots. Not a sunny afternoon by any means. Then the warm front lifts north during your Wednesday. So, morning time hours, we'll see fog. We'll see some drizzle. But by the afternoon, look at the temperatures with the south wind. We're back into the 70s across the area, but yet another cold front moves through Wednesday night into Thursday, and that will usher in some cooler and drier air once again as we head towards your Thursday and Friday. High pressure builds into the north, and this will be a noticeable cool down as high temperatures drop about 20 degrees or so from uh, your Wednesday heading into Thursday. Now, heading into New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, look at this. Our next storm system moves our way, so scattered showers will be possible. Right now, this looks more like a nuisance, not so much a heavy rainmaker or a big storm system, so we'll continue to fine-tune the timing. Now, several of you have been asking, Cedric, where's the cold air? Well, it looks like we could be talking about round number three of the Arctic Blast, but this won't arrive until the middle to latter half of next week. I'm kind of watching this in the long-range models. It looks to be kind of around January 5th or so, so kind of mark that on your calendars for the next cool-down. And we may even have to worry about some precipitation during that time. We'll have to fine-tune that as we get closer. Stay tuned. But your seven-day forecast, scattered showers, again, mainly in the morning today, clearing out this afternoon, and a few showers late Wednesday. But look at the highs, 50s for Thursday.